is offline. Meaning there is no power on the device. Send me response through email and through geotra. If power suddenly comes up, do I want to receive message? I can also activate. I'll come here, click edit. Send me the power is up through geotra. Send me through email. I might decide not to use text message, and I will say. Can you see if power is up now? If I'm experiencing low battery, send me the location through Geotra. G remote. Send me mail. Send me SMS. Send me. Am I close? The major reason why we don't normally activate SMS for everything is that SMS will be costing you money. But mail is just normal mail. I'll see. If somebody is trying to change my number, if I want to suspend someone, if I want to block a visitor, the, like the one I taught you earlier, mm. after the visitor has been blocked, I want notification that that visitor has truly been blocked. Time window and all those ones. Suspend profile. Those ones are here. So I've set that one. I will not come again. I've set my profile. You know, under profile, that's where you set your uh, activation notification. If I now want to move profile to profile me, I already have another gate. Maybe within that same 15 it's now two gates. And I want the same thing that is happening to the first gate to happen to the second gate. I can move from profile of first gate to another gate. This is profile one profile so. I can delete everything that I've set up. I want the major reason why I don't encourage my clients to be using this G web is that during the process of trying to do some settings, they can delete the profile. Mm. And if they delete the profile, we need to go back and start all over from beginning to the end again. Mm. So next one after delete profile, you can you can disable profile. You don't delete it, so the profile is still there, but you can disable it. This disable and disable profile. So that's profile. Number of synchronized device under synchronization. After you have done all the settings, can you see? If any of them is yet to be synchronized, it should be what? Red. Red. So, after you have done the... That's why I normally advise that before you go to the gate, do your synchronization. Let everything be working together. Just take it together and install. Because you might finish the installation of the gate, and it's not be synchronized like what I experienced on... Or uh, uh, Saudi now. Um, is it Saudi? Yeah, on Saudi. After I'm done with the conversation, till we left, till I left this place around 5 p.m., it's still writing synchronizing, synchronizing, synchronizing. But but once it's synchronized like this, they can now use the device to open the gate and close the gate. So that's synchronization. Then log. This log will tell me everything that has happened on the gate with time. The time that we change, the strength of the gate change, strength of the network, synchronized to G Ultra, or oh, time, everything, all we were doing, you were disconnected, you, everything that you did on that gate, you have it on that log. So you don't always need your system to program, you can even program a gate from your phone. After log, we now let me now move to IOs. I.O. stand for input and output command. I have the first I.O. I have is you know your gate has like five I.O.s. Your gate have like five I.O.s. I.O. one, some have six I.O.s. So under I.O. one now, meaning that I will connect one on my gate to one on the G-Ultra. One on my gate to one on the G-Ultra. That's I-1. I'll connect I-02 on my gate to I-02 on the G-Ultra. If it's D5 Smart. But if it's not D5 Smart, if it's D5 Evo, those ones, they already have where trigger is, where a uh, pedestrian is. You just connect your I-01 on your G-Ultra to trigger straight. And I-02 on your G-Ultra to pedestrian straight. So let me click trigger now. On that trigger, let me assume I want to configure trigger. That's when I was asking that question that, is it 
Why I want to send message? Is it out or in? It's out. out. And I want you to pause gate on. When you send pause, open gate. When it off, close gate. Close gate. That's set up. For pedestrian also, is it out or in? Out. Out. Out, open, out, close. Then IO3, I'm not using IO3 in this setup. I can try to use IO3 for anti theft. That if somebody wants to steal that machine, it should make alarm. I'm not using IO3, but what we need is status. We want to know the status of this. That's IO4. I pick IO4 for my status. IO4 now. This status is it open or close? Is it out or in? In. What is receiving response? So, you see, input, in input, it will receive response from the gate. I'm not using other IOs, so I'm through with IO mapping now. I will now go to the next one. Oh, I've already clicked IO mapping. The next one is your clock. You must set the clock to your time zone. In Nigeria, we are using plus one. In some countries, they are using plus two. So the clock we are using is what? So I will go and select plus one. Plus one West Africa. If I want to enable daylight saving, daylight saving means during the evening, the gate will not be running, it will not be consuming energy. During the day, it will consume more energy. Then I can enable it. That's all. That's all for log settings. I don't want those that are watching the video. I'm not cleaning. So I'm still on that setup. Bro. Click on configuration. Click on. Synchronize. Uh, you know, I'm doing some new setup. That's why it's going up and down. That's nice. I've done time zone. Schedule activation. If I want, what's happening to me? If I want to schedule activation, schedule activation means there is a certain time that I want the gate to work, and the certain time that I don't want the gate to work. You know, sometimes you might go on vacation. Mm -hmm. That's for schedule activation. But what I'm not scheduling activation, I don't need that. Time period. I might decide that some certain time, maybe at night, I don't want my gate to be sending notifications to me. I can set that one up here on that time period. So I get to on so so time to so so time. No, but I don't normally activate it. But there are sometimes some people might want to intrude your gate in the evening. So if I put it off, it means I will not know what is happening to my gate at night. So I can schedule time. I can decide that it is now office now. We are not opening Saturday, Sunday. We are opening Monday to Friday. We can decide to be locking our gates here. Saturday, Sunday. That's for that. Then I can also check history. Who has viewed my gate? And it's just only one single email that we use. If you have multiple emails that we have used to bring it, then lastly, if you are not having issues, from this app, you can call for support and they will support you. They will chat you up. So, do you have any questions on that? I hope I have one.